Welcome back. Let's talk about inclusive education. Now, inadequate logistics at the Abom Special Needs School in Cape Coast is slowing down and efforts at helping the kids with learning and physical disabilities to lead normal lives. School authorities improvise to train these young ones. But Brighton and Arnfo reports that these children can be trained to live normal lives if they can get the desired attention. Take a look at the story. We don't have the materials to work with. For example, if you look, look at the girl that sat here, she needs something to, if you want her to move, she will need a wheel in which when she's inside and the legs is maybe trying to uh, weaken, she can try to push. That is the difficulty of caregivers at their boom special needs school. The job is huge, but the logistics are not available. Many of the children need training to live decent lives, but teachers struggle to do this. That's why the logistics, the materials that we can use to manage them. And of course, we even need some in-service trainers because we went to the universities only book one. We only learned the language, the knowledge, the practice, but the practicality of it, we, did, we were not taught. So now we came to the field before some of us went for some in-service training before you can do some physiotherapies and the rest for the children. Set up in 2006, it is one of the most needed educational facility in Cape Coast. Children with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome and learning disability are all educated here. But the challenges confronting the school are making work of school authorities difficult. It is located right on the compound of a regular school. Now kids of this regular school you can see to my left engage kids from this school too. They interact and they share ideas. But there's a challenge with the school for special needs. On the role of the school are about 125 children. But on average daily, just about 60 of them are able to attend school. The reason is that their mothers, their parents are unable to afford daily transport fare to bring them to school. And so in days that they cannot pay for transport, they keep these kids in school. Teachers are worried that these kids cannot progress. They are ready and willing to help them live decent lives. But the lack of transport for these kids to come to school is a huge challenge for authorities of this school. That's Bright and Anna Forrest reports. Let's get in the studio now. And this is part of our Mission Ghana uh, project. It's uh, supported by the European Union Star Ghana with funding from Danida in the UK. It Rose Ofusuhimad uh, Dako, Ofusu Dako, I beg your pardon, is Inclusive Education Coordinator, Special Education Division at the Ghana Education Service. Also, Harun Masood is a member of the Ghana National Education Coalition Campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Great. Th this is what, this is the story Bright has brought us from the central region. I, I don't think it is new to you, uh, Rose. It is not new to me. But because how does it hit you? Yeah. I, I feel very bad. But you know what? We've gotten this information and we are working on it. In fact, we have submitted the request from Abum Special okay. School. Okay. In fact, the rationale behind that school is for the children to be included, right. to be integrated. Mm. So the children don't stay in that school forever. Okay. What we do is, most of these children, because they, they slow down because of their disability, they are not at par with their peers. Okay. So they have a lot of self-help skills that we need to develop them mm. before we, they can be integrated. That's why we have that school in a regular school. Okay. So if a child with cerebral palsy mm. comes, that child, there's nothing wrong with the brain. Okay. That child has mobility problem. Right. And how to take care of himself or herself to live independent life. And the logistics that the child will need to use for instance, some of them cannot... In this case, they don't have the logistics. In this yeah. case, the teachers do not have the adequate training. In fact... What kind of provision does the Ghana Education Service make 
for schools of this nature. Yeah. You remember the teacher said when they came on the field, is, uh, the in-service training organized for them, that is helping them. We've been organizing regular series of in-service training for these teachers. And the resources? So, the resources too, we have been, even currently, we have uh, put in a request for the item. In January, we started distributing some of the things. The headmistress but, was at but our the, office, but they don't and have we the, have they directed don't have the, the headmistress to go to Cape Coast Central Regional uh, assessment Center mm. for wheelchair for I'll the children. I'll come to Aharud shortly, but there is supposed to be a structure where uh, these schools are monitored. There's a weekly report that's submitted to the circuit supervisor and all of that. Yeah. Are, are we saying that until Bright put up the story, we hadn't seen this? No, all the things that uh, Bright is saying, we are aware of it. So why haven't we you have, fixed them? We have even asked the headmistress to go to Central Regional Assessment Center for wheelchair for the children who do not have. Did, did you have to come to Accra before before you no. made that you could make that directive to her? To oh, not really. Sometimes. We, they have to send a request okay. for us to know. Or when we go there for monitoring, then we will know that. Okay. Harun, let, let me come to you. What does the coalition think about this? <laughs> as, as the first uh, remark you made by saying that, are we, are we surprised okay. hearing this story? Actually, I'll go back to that and say we are not surprised at all. You are not? At Why all. Why aren't you surprised? Because it's, it's a normal thing that is going on. Mm. We as NEC are trying as much as we can to be part of the implementation of the inclusive education right. policy. Right. But um, the, the, the nature of the implementation mm. is too slow. Right. Too, too slow. Because there are some districts that have been selected previously for about in all the, ten, uh, the former 10 regions, okay. let me say so that uh, about 42 districts mm. that they pilot this inclusive education, which my district, where I come from, that's Kaswa, the Ewutu Senior is right. smart. Mm. Some resource persons have been posted to certain schools mm. by, uh, what do you call it, by GES. But actually, those resource persons are doing, I mean, I, I have seen them, I have okay. seen nothing because the resources are not there. There's if you ask nothing them, for them to work with. Yes, because the, if you ask them, they will tell you that organizing an assessment team mm. to go around to find out students that have such problems, mm. whom have decided to stay back home, right, but not come to, uh, no, no, not willing to come to school because mm. of their peculiar mm. conditions. They don't have that money to go around, and because you can't just go for a, a, an assessment team without okay. any funds. Right. 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 So these challenges. Monitoring and evaluation becomes a problem then. Big, big problem. So how do we solve the problem of this? Madam said that uh, they have asked the headmistress to go to the uh, district office no. to go and find, uh, to go and make requests for wheelchairs. Is that, is that yeah. correct? We have um, materials. And we want the materials to be closer to them so that they don't travel to the headquarters for this thing. So we have... Is, is it an indication that the regional offices and the district offices are not functional enough as they should be? Sometimes it beats my imagination because all the ten, the old ten regions, they have regional assessment centers. Right. And with their support from UNICEF and USID, we were able to supply them with substantial number of uh, assistive devices, uh, screening materials, and some teaching learning material so that yours is to go to the regional office okay then you are given the so are you suggesting that these things are sitting there in yes. those offices yes and and they are not being greater distributed Accra, greater Accra, if you go to the original assessment center okay. none of the wheelchair has been given out why why ask again no i'm asking you you are the head of the, i'm asking you why we you have been saying this severally. When you contact the region, they say nobody has come. So what punishment uh, accrues to anybody who has these resources that are supposed to give them up? We know that there are children who are suffering, but they don't have the resources. What punishment do you give them? Because we're paying them with our taxpayers' money. Yes, but you know what? He will be at the region waiting for somebody from the district to come and claim them. So if they are not coming, actually, you know what? In Tamale, Northern region, hmm. they have used all their materials 
because they have distributed it. Some of the coordinators are very proud. Is, is there a problem with the structure of reporting no, and There shouldn't be any problem. Is there a problem? No, there shouldn't. Is because, there a problem? No, it? it shouldn't be because the structures have been laid down so it flows mm. directly. If you are in a school... Are some people not doing their work? It could be. If you are in are the some school... some people not doing their work? It could be. If is, you, is it... Is it that they are not doing their work, it could be that they are not doing their work. Yeah, because if they are, are doing... some people not doing their work? I'm asking you this again. Yeah. You want to yeah. take your and time I'm, and... I'm saying that it could be because what I don't understand is you go to some regions and they are doing perfectly well. You go to another region and you have this problem. For instance, last week we had visitors from Gambia to come and understudy us with the implementation of inclusive education. You want to understand the system? Yes, yes. That is yes, not functional yes. in some places. They are now going to start. Ah, so, so we are the best example. So we took them to Ga East, which is one of the focus districts. Then we went to school A. Okay. And in that school, the resource person, mm. you could realize that the head teacher is willing to help the children that they have identified right. for further assessment. Right. But she didn't know where to go. So I asked the resource uh, teacher, don't you know where the, even the national goes? They are at Aga East, mm. closer to Achimota, where the National Assessment Center is. He says he knows. So why haven't you informed your head teacher where he should So what did you do to that teacher, In that fact, resource person? I didn't spare him. When you say that, what do you mean? I have to make him aware that he is not doing his work did, as a resource did, So teacher. there was no the, suspension, there was no reprimand? In fact, we reported it to the district director. And what happened to him? For us, we don't know. Because he's an enemy of the yeah, system. Yeah, that happened only last. Then we went to another school. Okay, school. Wait, 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 wait. I'm coming. Mm. We went to school B, mm. and the resource teacher was on top of her work. Okay. The, the team, the visitors... Is your job difficult? Sometimes. It's okay. Harun, you have the final word. What's on your mind? This, this is the uh, testimony we've heard here. Yes, actually, it's, what you're saying is true. But GES is somehow lenient when it comes to punishing people. Mm -hmm. that, For doing the wrong thing. That one is, yes, mm -hmm. that one is, I'm being truthful. Oh. They are okay. very lenient when mm -hmm. it comes to punishing. Right. So uh, I think, as some people are not doing the right thing, mm -hmm. we want to just make sure that every school going each mm -hmm. child mm -hmm find him or herself in the classroom okay just around his or her vicinity mm. not far away right because that segregation thing we don't like it it doesn't help right yes. thank you very much indeed lady and gentlemen rose of Fusuhima Dako is a inclusive education coordinator special education division of the ghana education service and a member of NEC. Uh, Harun Masood Kabore has been here. We're discussing inclusive education. We'll return. We'll get into the VGMAs. Last Saturday was a big blast in Kumasi, but there's an unsung category member on your screens shortly. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Where she did, oh yeah. Okay, I put my feet up. In every say she got only the ginger. She be fine wearing good for her finger. She be good for home. She no be cheater. Oh yeah, I put my feet 